Hi guys, welcome back to Simproved. Fry speaking here and welcome to another Sims 4 speed build. Today we are going to build something super special and very dear to my heart. First, because it is a collab with one of the most amazing builders, in my opinion, that the Sims community has. This is Antoine, my dear friend from the channel Sim Architecture. And yeah, we have already collabed on another build where he built the house and I furnished it. It was an Italian kind of palace, palazzo thing. I will link to that in the description down below. And this time I'm building the house and he will furnish it. And he is just, it's gonna be amazing. So be amazed. So this is a pink palace, but it's not just any palace. This is a real existing palace called the Benrad Palace. Benrad is a part of Düsseldorf in Germany. And yeah, it's a castle and I have been there myself since I'm German, it's really close to me. And I, I've been there a couple of times and it is really that pink. And I thought this is like such a distinct Baroque kind of style, which is also possible to build in The Sims in my opinion. And I just thought this would be so iconic because it's like the only pink, well, castle palace building that I know of and yeah you should definitely check it out it's beautiful if you're ever in Germany and in Düsseldorf particularly this is one of the most beautiful castles that we have in my opinion if you are into like the baroque kind of style of castle of course so yeah we decided to do only the middle part of the whole complex there are of course different houses there are like stables there's a whole botanical garden and like different buildings on this whole castle grounds but like the most you know the center thing that's the one that we are going to rebuild or that i'm going to rebuild and uh since yeah and this is where we only have like the 64 by 64 lot which is the biggest lot size that we have we only could do the middle part, but uh, yeah, it's just beautiful. We just thought this is perfect. You guys gonna love it. Especially Antoine, in my opinion, is perfect for these classical buildings of all kinds of architectural styles. But if it's classical, like everything pre-modern, that's like his absolute strong suit. And if you're into that kind of thing, I highly recommend you to check out his channel, check out his builds because they are just, absolutely gorgeous and i'm super happy that he wanted to collab with me again so apparently i did something right when we did the italian build <laughs> so yeah i basically while i was building this i was looking at lots and lots of pictures of benrad palace also pictures of me where, while i was visiting there because when i'm going to these castles or like any interesting kind of old buildings I usually tend to take lots and lots of architectural photos. I don't know why, it's an obsession with me. My whole phone is full with this. Whereas others have like lots of selfies or like flowers and like animal pictures. I have lots and lots of freaky, <laughs> freaky English amounts, I would say, of uh, architecture pictures. So uh, yeah, I'm sorry for that. It's kind of an obsession. But yeah, I was looking at this. I was also looking, of course, um, stuff up because it is, of course, kind of hard to do these kinds of windows since yeah i don't use any cc in all of my builds so um i i think there is cc probably that are these windows but i had to kind of you know uh, make believe that uh, it is one big window for example so it is one base game window i think i think it's a base game window i'm even not sure now and a vampire window on the second floor so it looks like one huge long window and for the middle part uh, that has this uh, arch gabled roof over it. That's, I think, a university window from the Discover University pack. So yeah, um, it was super interesting to build something like this again. I, I am kind of myself a sucker for these Baroque buildings, especially in my opinion, they are, well, not easy to do because as you can see, the, the roofs are a little bit fiddly. It's a little bit tricking the game, but they are working and theoretically you could even put something in the roofs like um you know make them usable that the sims can really have an attic so to speak we are not going to put in any stairs in this case because this is going to be a wedding a wedding <laughs> a wedding venue so yeah we thought this is the perfect wedding location by the way benrad palace in real life is also a wedding location you can really get wet there <laughs> It sounds so naughty, I'm sorry. But yeah, it's possible. When I was there, I think I was there two times. 
I've already seen like a couple, you know, bride and groom taking pictures and all that stuff. So it is definitely a thing. You can really get married there. It's of course, uh, I guess, I just assume it's going to be quite expensive if you want to do that. But uh, yeah, it's possible. And I thought for The Sims 4, this would be such a cool wedding spot because I've seen so many just doing gardens. I mean, I myself did a wedding barn, which is just, you know, the kind of opposite of the whole freakish, classic upper class expensive I want to get married in a castle kind of thing so I thought I'm think I'm really happy that I have two of the wedding spots now you know like the cheaper one <laughs> the cheaper self-made but a horse style and now we have the classical very elegant and like over the top castle and uh, yeah I just thought uh, that was like a really cool idea basically Antoine had the idea with the wedding spot and I was like oh yeah that's cool because actually in the real castle like that part that building that you can see here the original also don't have that doesn't have like any furniture in there like just a couple I think I haven't been inside yet because you have to pay you know extra tickets you have to get you know in line you have to um, you know um, so you get like a uh, what is it a tour uh, and we always forget to kind of online to, to to get us the tickets uh, and always when I went there um, yeah they were already full and I couldn't do a tour but I, there is an online tour I will put basic by the way everything about this castle or this palace um, in the video description down below so there's like a Wikipedia there is also the official site of that which is also comes in English so if you are really interested in that and you want to get married there now go for it there's all the information that you need and of course I will put uh, you know Antoine's some architectures channel down there as well and for those who are watching the premiere right now after my premiere of the video we will go over and watch the interior design of Antoine because it's it's just beautiful I love it I was blown away when he sent me his pictures and like I could look at the house because I myself was like oh this is going to be hard to furnish because of the low windows in the upper floor and you know like it was kind of weird but it was really easy to find out the real you know layout of the castle because everything is so well documented on the official websites of this castle um, and I, I was just, uh, he did such an amazing job. In my opinion, this is just one of the best wedding venues I have ever seen in The Sims. And as, I mean, I've been playing in The Sims and building The Sims for such a long time. So <laughs> I think you can imagine how, uh, yeah, it is really cool. Like he took this build and then, and then just went for it. Like, I don't know, like put, just it isn't another level now so I'm really happy that we could collab and he's such like he is just a talent and this I, I can't say it otherwise it's just true <laughs> this is going to be embarrassing by the way when uh, I see his reaction to that um, <laughs> uh, I'm sorry <laughs> but uh, yeah so basically it was quite easy to find out how this is you know looking in the sims or how I can make this look in the sims because I've done this mansard kind of roof I think it's not a mansard roof because there's a roof over the roof uh, yeah me and not being an architect so I don't know what the actual um, terms for these are but yeah this roof is by the way possible as you can see um, it's basically these half slanted roofs and then on top you put like another roof so it's basically one extra uh, floor uh, that is covered in roofs so to speak um, and if you want to make this playable with windows you can also build the dormers yourself. I use the dormers from Get Famous, which I think look the most Baroque. By the way, if you're into Baroque buildings, in my opinion, the best packs for that would be Get Famous and um, the Discover University pack for just building. You know, not, not the interior design, but just building definitely would be. That's, that's like a premium packs for these kinds of builds. So if you are into that kind of um, buildings or if you want to do like a whole world yourself in this Baroque style, I don't know, want to play Marie Antoinette or something like that, then go for that. Um, these are the two best packs for that, in my opinion. And of course, for gardening and landscape, the Romantic Garden Stuff Pack, I mean, that's just 
In my opinion, that's just an easy thing to know. <laughs> I mean, it is in the title. But yeah, um, it was kind of hard because the ben like the exterior, not the house itself, not the building itself, but the exterior um, stairs, for example, was a little bit hard because it has these ramps on each side and it has big stairs. So I had to fiddle a lot here with, um, you know, the foundation for the upper, for the house where it sits on. And then I still needed like a lower foundation, which is of course not possible. You can't put foundation to foundation. So I had to like up the, how can I explain this? The terrain to have like a second floor for a second set of stairs. Yeah, there we go. This is English, I guess. Um, and yeah, and the ramps are kind of uh, very particular for this, for the exterior of this castle. So I really wanted to have them. Uh, and it's possible, like your sims can get up there, they can have a wedding there. It's, I've personally set it to a lounge and I've uploaded this to the gallery. Um, and yeah, you guys can download this and play with this because it's just beautiful. <laughs> it is definitely um, like a wonky color. I think you would never expect something to be that pink, like ex at least an exterior. I think in my opinion, Baroque is very colorful sometimes in the interior. Like it uh, depends, I think also on which continent or like on which country. There were like some preferences for, for example, I always think the Russians are way more colorful or color lovers, I would say, than the Europeans were. But uh, yeah, there are like lots and lots of Baroque buildings that have very funky exterior and interior colors and it makes it kind of like a very fun, more opulent build. Because in my opinion, lots and lots of people think it's like always white marble and white paneling and like maybe gold. But like the originals are always kind of funky, honestly. I think it's the same with like people thinking that the Roman statues and like the marble statues from that, um, from the Roman Empire and you know, that times, the classical ones were all white, but they were actually painted and it quite, you know, exquisitely painted. The thing is that over all these years, I mean, we are talking thousands of years here, um, you know, of course, the paint vanished a little bit by sun, you know, by weather, whatever. So uh, they appeared white in the end because the marble was white. But yeah, these were actually really colorful. So when you see like a Roman Empire kind of epic um, movie, you can point your finger to the screen and yell, all these statues wouldn't have been that white marble. They would have been painted. So for my... <laughs> Um, so yeah, this is a little fun fact for you guys, if you wouldn't, if you didn't know that. <laughs> so here we are, uh, after I've done like the whole thing, the roofs, which are the ramps, you know, they, your sims can't get uh, walk on the roofs here, of course. These are just supposed to be the ramps, but they will use the stairs to get up there. And it was quite fiddly to do that because the roofs always wanted to delete themselves because they were uh, objecting with uh, the other objects and whatnot. Uh, yeah, I think in the end I learned my lesson that I will always put ramps like these like way at the end of the build. Just so it's easier to build because I always had to put them away from the house, so to speak. Delete and do my stuff in build mode there and then put the roofs back in there, like the ramps back in there. And it was just fiddly kind of lost a lot of time there so that was annoying um i tried to do the proportions of the garden around like it is in real life as well of course we went with the maybe like that it would have looked more original you know you never know how it looked while um it was kind of in use at these times <laughs> of course there has been stuff renovated and added throughout the years um but there is this green patch in front of the main entrance and behind of the building there is this huge long water it wasn't a pond like it's an artificial pond i think i think pond is even like you know like a pool you know like huge fountain but flat you know um that kind of thing not sure what that is called in english i don't even know what it's called in german to be honest so <laughs> But yeah, I tried to recreate it how I saw it on the pictures because honestly, I mean, I can't remember all of the details when I went there. Oh, there was this tree over there. But uh, yeah, I just tried to mimic everything that I saw on the pictures. 
and apparently next to the sides of everything there is kind of like uh, lots of foliage which is odd because usually they have like really meticulous gardens and parts of the castle grounds by the way um, it is like these typical meticulous gardens you know with the hedges that ha have like these amazing uh, swirls and like kind of patterns and ornament stuff with uh, hedges and uh, whatnot um, so that's quite interesting and I also can recommend to visit in the summer uh, because they also sometimes in the summer have like uh, you know not fireworks but maybe um, what is it like a, like a laser show kind of thing um, which is really cool all around like and it kind of glistens and it mirrors into in the water of this fountain pool thing whatever it is called so that's really beautiful it's something uh, you definitely have to see when you are here in summer so that would be really cool so yeah the whole gardening was basically just me copying stuff but I already talked to Antoine and he was like yeah of course I'm gonna like do like a little bit more of gardening um, because actually that's considered, you know, like interior design, like decoration. I was just not sure what to put there anyways, but I didn't want to leave it like as empty for him. <laughs> but yeah, in the, in the end, I think it looks really cool. It really is very detailed. It kind of has like this basic garden all around. Um, but I think like your Sims will do the wedding inside because there will be, by the way, a ballroom. Be amazed. This is what Anton has put in there. There's a ballroom. There's like a whole bar, I don't know, greeting area. Then there is, of course, the wedding area and the main hall. Um, there's a photo booth room. And upstairs there's even like with a, with a trail of petals, like a honeymoon suite. And it's just please watch the video guys it's just i i had no words when i was looking at this like, oh my god this is so cool so yeah i'm super happy that i could collab with him um it's just gonna be an amazing build by the way guys like you definitely have to check it out in game it looks so much way better in game than it does in videos because it's always so hard to kind of show you every little detail of everything by the way if you want to know how long i've built this I think it was about like five hours and that's just the exterior because then I uploaded this and I said Antoine it's your turn <laughs> and he was done with it so quick so um, yeah he definitely has more experience in this kinds of baroque classical buildings definitely or neoclassical as well like all these kinds of pre-modernism styles is just that's him that's uh, I've never seen anyone like it honestly. I haven't there isn't there isn't <laughs> so I'm really really happy that I could collab with him and uh, yeah I really tried my best to uh, come up with something that is something that I've seen in real life that exists in real life that is a nice wedding spot and here we are in the top-down views if you want to rebuild this but you don't actually need to rebuild this because it is up on the gallery the link is in the description down below and in the gallery it's called Ben Rat palace b-e-n-r-a-t-h palace and i'm pretty sure you're gonna love this so here we are in the video tour you know that at the end of every video i'll do a little video tour so you can have a better look at everything it's slower you can take your time take in the beautiful view <laughs> and uh, enjoy you know and um, here you can already see some uh, you know like one of these some of these statues that and uh, lighting that Antoine already put in because this is already the finished version of it but we won't look into the interior design of course because that's Antoine's uh, you know metier in this part here of this collapse so I personally am super happy how it turned out. It is really, really decorated. I especially like all of the ornaments and like little wall decor that I put around the window. So it looks a little bit even more Baroque because Baroque is like lots and lots of ornaments and like sometimes even gold and like I said, color. Like it's over the top basically. So uh, I wanted to do that here as well because we don't have that much uh, stuff that kind of is like one window that is Baroque, you know, because you always have to, you always have to come up with stuff to build your own, <laughs> to make your own in this game. But yeah, this is basically my lovely Benrad Palace, the pink palace. And I really hope that you like it, guys. 
it is uh, definitely uh, yeah a little bit different than maybe the modern mansion or something but in my opinion this ups the game <laughs> experience if you have that in your game in my opinion because it is a kind of different style you know than the usual American suburban house <laughs> for the single mom <laughs> or I don't know what 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 is uh, yeah teen pregnancy challenge or whatever yeah you know what I mean um, so I definitely really really like this I'm really really happy how it turned out and I'm really happy how you know I was really kind of scared before I started building this that it's not going to look like it does in real life, but it really looks like it in real life. Um, I've also posted about this on Twitter. I was like, hey, do you guys recognize this? And I think two people recognized it and uh, knew that it, it was Benra Palace. So I was super happy about this. I'm like, oh, thank God you can recognize it. Um, so I'm happy that we have now a real existing castle also in The Sims 4. This is, uh, I'm really happy. And look how beautiful it looks at night, because Antoine, did the, he's so good at lighting these buildings. This is also how it looks basically at night a little bit, like they have these cool uh, spots, you know, pointed at the house. And uh, yeah, it looks just beautiful, just beautiful. And yeah, um, that's basically the whole build, guys. But not the end of the collab. Please head over to Antoine's channel, Some Architecture, for the interior design. I will link all the details in the video description down below. Also the download link, also the info about this palace if you want to visit it in real life or want to see real life pictures. And yeah. Please subscribe to my channel if you are into Sims 4 builds like these. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Give it a thumbs down if you don't like it. And leave me a comment what I should build next or with whom I should collab next. <laughs> but yeah, that's basically it. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye bye.